Hey, this is Dave Burgess from San Diego, California, author of Teach Like a Pirate, and I have a few thoughts for you about homework today. So I have a confrontational attitude with teachers towards homework because people ask me about it all the time. They always say like, hey, pirate dude, um, you have to help me. Kids won't do my homework. And I always snap off right away. Well, then you need to give better homework or stop giving it. And it kind of socks them in the stomach and takes them back for a little bit. Uh, but it, it's the truth. And so here's the, I look at homework in many different ways. So this is gonna be one of a couple different videos I make about homework. But first of all, I use a theme park analogy sometimes. Like if you go to a theme park and maybe you go on the ride, like the big fancy themed ride, like you go on the Jurassic Park ride or the mummy ride, right? And, and then at the end, as soon as you get off off the ride, where do you end up? They don't just put you back out into the park, right? Where you end up, they put you in the gift shop. They always empty you into the gift shop. And you have to walk through the whole gift shop in order to, to get out back out into the park. And and so right there, like you get off the mummy ride and there's a book on uh, pyramids. There's a book on mummification. There's a, some products with uh, the Egyptian symbols on it and stuff like that. You get off the Jurassic Park ride and there's dinosaurs everywhere and stuffed dinosaurs and play dinosaur sets and books about dinosaurs and DVDs about dinosaurs. Hey, even if you go to say SeaWorld or something like that, when I go through the polar bear exhibit at SeaWorld, I'm emptied out into the gift shop of thousands of stuffed polar bears and books about polar bears and videos about polar bears and polar bear sweatshirts. I go through the shark encounter at SeaWorld and you go through the little tunnel with the sharks swimming around you, right? And, and there you are, there's shark tooth necklaces and there's DVDs about sharks and books about sharks and different kinds of sharks and the most dangerous sharks in the world and everything you can imagine about sharks and the when I take my my kid through there and when we get into the gift shop they want that stuff do you know why they want it because they just saw sharks. They just walked underneath sharks. They were just, the sharks were swimming over top of their head. They're like, my God, daddy, look, there's rows of teeth. There's not just one row of teeth, there's rows of teeth. How do they have so many teeth? How many teeth do they have? What happens when they bite you? And like all this stuff. And when you go through polar bears, all of a sudden you're into polar bears, right? You get off the medieval times ride. And now all of a sudden you're like, hey, I want to know more about knights. I want to buy this knight sword. And I want to get this book about castles and, and were, were the knights real and all that kind of stuff because you're excited because of the experience that you just went through. And that's what we need to do in school, okay? We need to get kids so excited by what we do in class, by the experiences we create for them. And then after we get them pumped up about the what we're learning, then you empty them into the gift shop. You empty them into the places where they can go further, where there's resources and links and challenges and things that can take them further in, in their learning. And, and why do they want to do it? Not because you gave them a worksheet packet. They want to do it because they want, because they, they're pumped now because you just talked about something that got them excited and you got them interested in it by, what's, by, by creating something powerful in your class. So you focus on powerful learning experiences for kids and then don't just kill it by what you send home. Give them chances to go further. Empty them into the gift shop of your content and show them how they can explore further because now they want to because they just went through something powerful. So turn your classroom into a powerful theme park experience for your kids and then empty them into the gift shop. There's some thoughts on homework from you. Again, I'm Dave Burgess. You can find me at, at Burgess Dave on Twitter or go to DaveBurgess.com. Thanks so much for listening.